Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I have a couple of projects to show you. Uh, both involve somewhat large flashlights, so I'm just going to put them in the same video here. So this one is going to Mitchell, and uh, Mitchell is a law enforcement officer here in New England. I, uh, when I'm doing law enforcement military, I don't disclose uh, like state or city or anything. I just uh, don't know if they'd be comfortable with that since they're actually doing a job that uh, could be potentially dangerous, you know, whatever. I'm sure it's not that big a deal, but safety is better. So, anyway, Mitchell sent me his flashlight, and he asked if I could just make him a uh, a holster for it, and he had sent me a picture of one that he liked, that he had seen before, it had a very similar look to this, and uh, you can see it's got these big spacers in there, which means the retention is adjustable, which is a nice feature, and the bottom of it, very subtly is rounded at the bottom of the bezel so the flashlight will bottom out in there it's never going to go all the way through unless you really really loosen these but at that point there's no sense in even having them on there um, so the draw is still you know it's about where I would have it but uh, obviously you can tighten or loosen this at you as you wish um, it's riding on a tech lock and I played around with it a bit to try and get the flashlight to go straight. You can see it's it's off at an angle slightly in the Kydex. So after failing to get it to just stay straight, um, I ended up actually just changing the angles slightly of the drill holes. I've widened the drill holes. So if you want to change the angle at all, there's not a huge amount of play in it, but you can loosen the uh, the top two screws just a little bit and then kind of work the tech lock in one direction or the other and uh, see if you can get a different cant out of it so that is an option um, but right now I have it set up so it's just about perfectly straight so it should ride exactly uh, perpendicular to your belt so all right and for those of you who are wondering this is a Phoenix RC20 really nice light Alright, that's project one. The second project involves a flashlight, and this is a Streamlight Stinger. And I decided to do a bigger, a bigger holster sheath for it, uh, just because the light is really heavy. Um, and originally, this was going to be on a bigger rig with a Leatherman and uh, a bit kit that had all the accessories for the Leathermans and whatnot. So, um, but I. I talked to the customer and let him know that it actually was going to be an incredibly big rig if we put it all on there. So I asked him if I could split it into two and just have the flashlight as a standalone since it's obviously going to be the biggest piece of that. And he said that was fine. So this one's going to Thomas. And Thomas, I forgot where you're at, but you know who you are. Um, all right, so we got this nice streamlight sheath and he wanted everything done with uh, chocolate brown and then cryptic blood red over it so we've got the chocolate brown there and then so he's buying a leatherman skeletal from me and this is the skeletal really nice uh, really nice tool if you guys haven't checked them out already I like these things a lot but you can see that they have a little bit that you can remove there and so that removable bit can be replaced by just popping the bit out from the hole there and there are tons of different options as far as what you can plug in <clears throat> so he bought the bit kit and extender and all that let me show you those pieces real quick all right so this is like an extension driver and then the bit kit has a ton of stuff on it. So quite a bit that you can work with there. It's a pretty comprehensive toolkit. Um, so he asked if I could find a way of putting all of those together on a sheath. And let's see. And this is what I came up with. So we got the skeletal over here. And one thing with the skeletal this is going to be a one a one position carry so a lot of the time 
Uh, you guys know with multi-tools, I try to set it up so that it doesn't matter if you have it forward or backward facing in there. In this case, you actually want to have it backward facing. You want the Leatherman Skeletal facing you, like the, the word Leatherman Skeletal in there. Uh, so the face of the tool itself is going to be back towards you. And that's just because I wanted to put the curve, uh, the outside curve, on the fold of the sheath. That way, when it's in there, it would keep it from rattling around at all. So I've got it in there uh, pretty tight. These are a pretty challenging tool to uh, kydex, but what you want to do is just force it down in there. And when you want to get it out, put your thumb against the sheath somewhere and then lift from the bottom and just... Once it's popped free, it's really easy to pull out. So, you kind of have to push to get it down in there, but to get it out, just brace it somewhere with your thumb and pop it out from the bottom. Um, the bit kits are on the back. You can see I've done a rough mold there. They are in there nice and snug, but they're not crazy to pull out. So you can just lift them out like that. Works pretty nicely. And of course the driver is real easy. It's a standard loop you pull like that. So alright, so that's what I got for you on this one. You can see if these three were combined, that would just be a lot for a single tech lock to carry. So we split them up. But alright, there it is. So if you like these projects, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like the channel, subscribe and uh, definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think. Share it with all your buddies. Appreciate you tuning in. Stick around for the next one. God bless, guys.